Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 10.4, Multi-Step Measurement Problems. Our essential question is how can you solve multi-step measurement problems that include measurement conversions? Go ahead and turn in your Google Math book to Lesson 10.4. Let's go ahead and take a look at question number two. Question number two says Afton made a chicken dish for dinner. She added a 10 ounce package of vegetables and a 14 ounce package of rice to 40 ounces of chicken. What was the total weight of the chicken dish in pounds? So what we know so far is we have 10 ounces of vegetables, 14 ounces of rice, and 40 ounces of chicken. So let's go ahead and add that all up to find our total ounces. We have 64 ounces total. Now let's look and see what our question is asking. What was the total weight in pounds? So we need to figure out how many pounds is 64 ounces. So now we have to do our second step of this problem, which is to divide our 64 ounces by 16 ounces to figure out how many pounds there would be. Now you can do a couple different things. You can estimate Perhaps you might want to say 16 times 4 over here. I'm just going to estimate. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 1 ten is 6, 4 tenths, plus 2 more is 6 tenths. So that does equal 64. So I can put a 4 up here as my quotient. 4 times 16 is 64. And we'll subtract, and there's no more ounces left over. So we can say that there are 4 pounds for the total chicken dish. Okay, boys and girls, let's take a look at question number three. Question number three says a jar contains 26 fluid ounces of spaghetti sauce. How many cups of spaghetti sauce do four jars contain? Let's look at what we know. We know that one jar contains 26 ounces, but we need to know how many four jars contain first before we can convert it to cups. So let's go ahead and find the ounces for four jars first. If 26 ounces is for one jar, then we're going to have four jars. Let's multiply to find that out. Four times six is 24. Carry the two and drop the four. And four times two tens is eight tens, plus two more would be 10 tens. So we have 104 ounces. This is what we know so far now. So four jars are 104 ounces. Now let's look at what it's asking. How many cups of spaghetti sauce do four jars contain? So let's go back to what we know in our chart. If one cup equals eight ounces, and we have a total of 104 ounces, we need to find out how many cups would equal 104 ounces. So because we're going to be going from small to large, we will divide. So let's do 104 divided by eight. Go ahead and pause the video right now and work that one out for yourself. Okay, here we go. You should have done 104 divided by 8. And you should have realized that you cannot divide up. We do not have 8 groups of 100 to divide into 8 groups. So we have to look at how many 10s we have. We have 10 10s to divide into 8 groups. So each group should have 1 10. Let's multiply. 1 times 8 is 8. Let's subtract to find out how many 10s are left. We have two 10s left. So let's go ahead and bring down this 4 right to here. And now we have 24 1s. Now, if I have 24 1s divided into 8 groups, I know 8 times 3 is 24. So let's multiply to see how many 1s are left over. 3 times 8 is 24. Subtract, and I have zero left over. So I can answer this question now. How many cups of spaghetti sauce do four jars contain? 13 cups would equal four jars of spaghetti sauce. Let's skip on over to question five now. For question number five, it says Leslie needs 324 inches of fringe to put around the edge of a tablecloth. The fringe comes in lengths of 10 yards. If Leslie buys just one package of fringe, how many feet of fringe will she have left over? So first of all, we have to figure out how many inches would be in a pack that comes in 10 yards. So we need to know how many inches are in one yard. So let's look at our chart over here. 
I know one yard equals three feet. Because there is 12 inches in one foot, one yard has three feet, we would have to figure out how many inches are in a yard. And we should all know by now that one yard equals 36 inches because three times 12 is 36. So now that I know that the pack comes in 10 yards and each yard is 36 inches, we can figure out how many inches are in the whole pack. We're looking for a big number of inches. 36 times 10 will tell us how many inches are in her huge pack. So I'm gonna do 36 times 10. I'm gonna do the little trick where we drop our zero down and multiply one times 36 to get 36. So now we have 360. So now that we know that there are 360 inches inside 10 yards, and she needs only 324 inches of fringe to put around the tablecloth, how many feet will she have left over? The words left over tell me I need to subtract. So go ahead and let's subtract our 324 from 360. Press pause now and solve that one. Okay, you should have done. Regroup from my tens, make that five, and now we have ten ones minus four ones is going to be six ones. Five tens minus two tens is three tens. So she's going to have 36 inches left over. But remember, the question says, how many feet will she have left over? So now we've got to turn this 36 inches back into feet. Remember, one foot is 12 inches, so 36 inches would be three feet, which also equals one yard. So we would see that there are three feet left over in the pack. Get question number six now. Question number six says, Darnell rented a moving truck. The weight of the empty truck was 7,860 pounds. When Darnell filled the truck with his items, it weighed six tons. What was the weight in pounds of the items that Darnell placed in the truck? So remember, he started with this amount. He added value to equal a total of six tons. Now remember, we're dealing with pounds though. So let's go ahead and convert our tons to pounds so that way we can then figure out how much he filled up in the truck. If we know right here that one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds, then let's figure out how much six tons would equal. If one ton is 2,000 pounds, then six tons would equal a total of 12,000 pounds. So we're dealing with 12,000 pounds. That's when it was completely filled. He started out with 7,860 pounds though. So we wanna know what the difference is of what he added to the weight. So what was the weight in pounds of the items he placed inside the truck? How are we gonna be able to figure that out? Well, we need to start with how much the truck weighs now, 12,000 pounds. If we subtract what it started out as, that'll let us know what he put inside of the truck. Go ahead, pause the video now and work this one out on your own. Okay, for this one, you should have subtracted zero minus zero. Zero tens take away six tens. You cannot do it. So let's go ahead and regroup from my thousands place because I do have a thousand to share. We'll turn that into a one, make nine hundreds, and ten tens. So ten minus six is four tens. Nine minus eight hundreds is going to be one hundred. Let's regroup and take away a ten thousand and make a ten thousand to my thousands place, so now we have 11 minus 7 is going to be 4,000. So, so we can say that he added 4,140 pounds to the truck. All right. Let's do one more together. Let's look at question number 7. It says a pitcher contains 40 fluid ounces of iced tea. Shelby pours 3 cups of iced tea. How many pints of iced tea are left in the pitcher? Let's start with what we know so far. We know she starts out with 40 ounces. She's gonna pour three cups of iced tea, which means she's taking those three cups of iced tea away. However, she's taken away cups. We need to know how many ounces she's taken away because we're starting out with ounces. So let's go ahead and convert these three cups into ounces. If one cup is eight ounces, then three cups would be eight times three, which is 24 ounces. So let's go ahead and subtract 24 ounces from our 40. And we have 16 ounces left. 
So if we have 16 ounces left, the question isn't asking how many ounces are left, it's asking how many pints are left. So let's talk about how much is a pint. Well, a pint equals two cups, correct? And if one cup is eight ounces, it would be two cups that would equal 16 ounces, which is what we have right here. So how many pints are left? You should know that it's just one pint because one pint has a value of 16 ounces. We've done this in the past. I'll go ahead and show you really fast. One cup, two cups. Two cups equals one pint. And if each cup has eight ounces, that equals 16 ounces, which is why we have one pint left. Okay, so for your homework questions for tonight, I want you to turn your page over to the back side and I want you to do questions one and two. Now I have your conversion charts here on this video, so please make sure that you use them on your homework questions. For question number one, it's talking about length. So please pay attention to this chart down here. And for question number two, it's talking about capacity, so please pay attention to the capacity chart up above here. Don't forget at the top of your page, please rate yourself. If you feel like level one, please put one. Level two for apprentice, just write two. For level three for practitioner, write three. Or if you feel like you're an expert, please put down four. And tomorrow in class, we'll be doing more practice problems to get really good at this. All right, have a great night. Bye-bye.